ring in her eye and a bloody nose. Prosecutors say those are the injuries the girlfriend of Vikings cornerback Chris Cook suffered when he choked her Saturday. When we were there this afternoon when Cook got out of jail. And 5 Eyewitness News reporter Mark Saxonmeyer is live outside of the Hennepin County Courthouse now where Cook was charged with a felony. Mark? Leo, when Cook left jail today, he was not in a talking mood, preferring instead to share his thoughts via Twitter. He sent two, one apologizing to Vikings fans, his teammates, his family, and other people, and the second saying, quote, there are two sides to every story, end quote, but offering no further details. Can you tell us about what the charges are like here at this point, how you're no feeling? Comment. Are you remorseful with, with what's going on? According to the police complaint released today, officers found Cook's unnamed girlfriend of 10 months sitting on the living room floor of his townhome in Eden Prairie, crying and bleeding from the nose. And complaining about being struck on the right side of her face. You have nothing to say to the fans at all? The woman told officers that Cook became upset when she spoke to an ex-boyfriend. She said Cook threw her on a bed, climbed on top of her, and began to choke her. Marks on her neck, consistent with strangulation. She has hemorrhage in one eye. You upset you missed the game? If we thought we had the facts for attempted murder here, we'd charge it. We don't. Um, there's no indication that she passed out. The complaint details the woman saying she freed herself by pulling on Cook's hair, but then he allegedly struck her in the ear, causing her to fall into a wall. And then... Mr. Cook attempted to strangle her a second time. He's upset that he's sitting there. He's upset he missed the game. And he's upset for the whole incident. Is he remorseful? Of course he is. Now, Cook is not allowed to leave Minnesota while he's out on bail or have any contact with the victim. We did reach out to Vikings officials today to hear what they have to say. They have not yet returned our calls. Reporting live, Mark Saxonmeyer, 5 Eyewitness News.